What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today our Deep Oaken character build is going to be for a very special occasion. One of my friends has been suggesting this character non-stop ever since, I don't even know when. So I ended up watching the entire show and making a fun build. It's honestly crazy, but hey, if you want to see a future build, make sure to tell me down below because I do read your comments. Just a heads up, there's going to be some spoilers for the anime ranking of kings, so watch out. Before we start, go check out my last video I made about the strange new Deep Oaken AI. It's very groundbreaking, and I think they'll do a lot for Lair too. We're almost at 28,000 subscribers, so if you like what I do, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Enjoy! Today's special character is Prince Boji from the 2022 anime Ranking of Kings. At first, I thought this show was for little kids, but the animation and characters are pretty fantastic and I definitely recommend it. But this kid Boji was basically hoed at birth. He has literally zero strength and he's deaf, but because of this he has insane focus and reflexes. Boji's entire fighting style revolves around dodging attacks and hitting weak spots to beat whoever wants smoke. But how would this character work in Deep Woken? I decided to pick Gremor for this character to match his dark brown hair and spice up my basic looking outfit. The best part about Boji's drip is his crown, so I did some searching and picked up a combo that worked. For his outfit, you don't really need to have anything at all. Boji's outfit is so plain that all he needs is a blue tunic, some boots, and sometimes a green cape. It was easy to pull off his look with low-cost cosmetics, but Freshy Drip was actually a secret weapon that I'll talk about later. Prince Boji on paper seems very easy to do, but I'm sure there's multiple ways to build this character. If there's something else that you would have changed to this build, let me know in the comments down below. Now, let's get into it. Our Boji build is fully maxed out with 2 Strength, 40 Fortitude, 60 Agility, 40 Intelligence, 50 Willpower, 25 Charisma, 10 Shadow Cast, and 100 in Light Weapons. It's a very solid rapier build that doesn't need anything crazy. As we said earlier, Boji doesn't have the strength to swing around a giant sword, and his only weapon in the anime is this very small rapier. It's the fastest option for him, and I felt like the Crucible rapier did the job correctly. A lot of poking and spacing work best with the rapier, and it's a very fun playstyle if you know a lot about weapon hitboxes. But Boji isn't just untrained, he's a master of the Despa arts. His master Prince Despa teaches him what's up and helps him utilize his full speed. I thought that rapid slashes represented a combination of Boji's light speed attacks all hitting at once, dealing a lot of damage from a distance. It's a very good spacing tool to approach enemies that are out of range or hitting people that aren't ready. But Boji isn't alone. He's got friends. Boji's best friend is his little shadow guy Kage who understands Boji and provides him guidance throughout their journeys. He's able to run around in the shadows and help out Boji in combat with a Kage combo. Clutching Shadow has got to be one of the best moves in the game for catching enemies off guard at basically no risk. This move is super easy to pull out and it multi-hits meaning it works well against blocking players and those with risky moves. To match with the super speedy movement, Boji has hyper focus allowing him to strike weak points at an atomic level. Most of the time he paralyzes foes or destroys their weapons with a well-timed strike. I call this an atomic pinpoint. Exhaustion Strike works wonders on a rapier build and it's great for combo starting and hitting blocking opponents. Get in and poke with this move and if it lands you can start a full combo. So don't skip this. And sometimes Boji is just too fast to handle. When he fights, it's common for him to blitz towards the enemy and deal with them quickly. I'm calling this move Hyper Blitz. It's the coolest move Boji does as he finishes off enemies in a stylish fashion. Revenge with the Wayward Gem replicates this horizontal rush and allows for combos with your critical right after. It's the best option for a rapier build and it's always great to have. Extreme focus is necessary for any king, but Boji likes to focus on his friends. When he's in a pinch, Boji's determination carries him far as he speeds up and fights until the end. Adrenaline Surge works best to increase your speed and mix up enemies that get used to your playstyle at a normal speed. Often in Ranking of Kings, Boji is faced by enemies and monsters that everybody seems to hate or that are like very strong, but he always has a way of turning them into his friends. Maybe it's the influence of a king that stops him from attacking, or maybe he's just lucky. Glare is the move you want to get because you can stop enemies in their tracks and stun them for a well-timed critical. Make sure you pick up the extended hitbox talents for glare or modify it for maximum effect. As you know, Boji is the best at dodging. Being able to matrix through projectiles or weave through attacks, it's the best option for his small size and complements his superhuman reaction time. Dash, with a spring spark, lets us do a double dash that's fun for running around and catching up to people out of range. Also, I don't think people really expect it. And those are Prince Boji's abilities, but I'll talk about my secret advantage for this build. As you know, I like to play the mental game, you know, I mean, I'm in a 4D plane. But anyway, the outfit I have is very cheap and I look like a straight up fresh bond that everybody underestimates. Regardless, I've noticed people getting kind of irritated when I beat them, and I think it's because they don't take me seriously. This works great for Boji because everybody underestimates him until he pops off and beats them. For this dodge build, I'd recommend picking up Tap Dancer for an additional dodge after a cancel, Observation for larger dodge frames on a cancel, and Safety Dance which doubles all dodge frames in general. It's the best option if you want to poke with the rapier and embodies the spirit of Boji's character. Here's a full list of my talents if you want to recreate this build. I had a lot of fun revisiting Rapier, and I thought I did a good job recreating this character. Go check out some fights from Prince Boji.
And that's all. Thank you guys for watching, and we're almost ready for layer two, so stay tuned for content on that. I always read comments, so make sure you share down below what type of build you want to see next. As always, like and subscribe, and have a good one.